Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This uh, reading is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get right into your reading, Scorpio. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love. Now the card that is currently influencing or the energy of the partner or person of your interest is the Queen of Swords. The obstacle to overcome is the Ten of Cups. And the energy that you are having in the present or the influence is the Six of Cups. Okay, so we have Queen of Swords, Ten of Cups, and Six of Cups. Okay. So the Queen of Swords could represent, uh, you may be dealing with Air Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Or this could be uh, the energy that, uh, how they're viewing you in the present time. Um Queen of Swords usually indicates feeling a little bit, um, a little bit analytical. You're being too much in your head at the present time, overanalyzing or overthinking a certain situation. Now you do have the Ten of Cups, uh, which is emotional fulfillment, um, with the Six of Cups. I feel that for a lot of you guys, uh, this month particularly. It's going to be very important in regards to children. So for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship or if you are currently dealing with a person uh, perhaps that you're no longer with but you have children um, by that person, it could be almost a time to put the priorities of your children or your child. Um, if there is any type of you know emotional reservations about this particular situation um in regards to your children so as, a, as an example uh for some of you guys perhaps you're not on great or amazing terms with your baby father or your baby mother um but what they're saying here is that it is very important to put uh, the priorities or the well-being of your child before anything now i know i don't need to say this to scorpios because uh, you guys are very protective of your children. Uh, but the Queen of Swords could represent feeling a little bit detached um, in the sense of embracing or giving your child that loving embrace. And I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with children that could be very... Uh, there's not... I feel that they are more connected to the, the, the other parent, not so much with yourself. It could be that they're currently dealing with, like if you're dealing as an example with teenagers, it could be that they feel more comfortable communicating or expressing what they're going through with the parent that is not um, always around them, whether it's a, f a female or a male. I feel that there is a desire to feel your embrace or to be able to communicate with you in an in a easier way or in an easier manner. But I feel that for some of you guys, it could be like really difficult, almost like you don't get your child or you don't really, you can't connect with them. Maybe you don't have a lot of things in common with them. But what Spirit is saying here is that it is important to, again, have a heart to heart conversation with them. Let them know that they can rely on you or that they can count on you or come to you whenever they're having any type of emotional issues. Now, the Ten of Cups does represent emotional fulfillment, but this also represents um, being very stable or being very, for some of you guys, it could even be that you were in an in unstable relationship uh, with the child that you have. And now, perhaps for some of you guys, you guys are dealing with a different relationship or perhaps a partner that is, um, you know, a serious monogamous relationship. And it's like, to them, it's very different, I guess, from what they've experienced at some point. And this is only for those of you guys that are dealing with people from your past um, that you had children from. So I feel that, again, like I said, the Ten of Cups does represent getting to the point of feeling emotionally fulfilled. But um, within that, there is a need to reconnect with uh, the Six of Cups indica usually indicates, you know, children. And I feel that there's like a, a disconnect there because you have the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Swords is very analytical. It's uh, perhaps maybe you're coming off too strong. Perhaps um, you're very strict with your children. And there is almost this 
they're going through this transition of feeling like they're not understood or they're not supported. So what Spirit is telling you is that you need to give attention to them as much as, as an example, if you have other children. Uh, be, be mindful of that because I feel that should you let this progress or should you let this continue, it will get to the point of feeling like you are, it's almost like they, they can't rely on you on an emotional level. And this is something that is very important to take care of now uh, because, you know, children grow up and, you know, they connect with friends and stuff like that. And, and, and this is something I tell my clients. It's always very important to keep open communication with your children because at the end of the day, you you want them to reach out to you or to communicate with you when they themselves are going through things instead of relying on friends or advice from friends because obviously you know, their immature type of energy. So again, I feel that this is going to be impacting some of you guys' relationships. I feel that um, for those of you guys that are in a new relationship, um, it could it, it's almost like a frustration type of energy that your partner is sensing or feeling. And it could be because for them, um, for some of them, they could be experiencing like, I don't want to say jealousy, but uh, like, per, like overprotectiveness. And I feel that they're coming from a good place because perhaps they're the ones that have raised your children. Perhaps they're the ones that are constant in your life uh, or child's life. But you kind of remove that authority or you feel like they have no right to judge or to even give you advice on how to raise your child. But it's important to understand that in partnerships or in relationships, it is important to take that constructive criticism because obviously you guys are building together or are trying to build together and it is important to you know acknowledge your partner's advice or your partner's their perspective on the situation so f don't feel like you're being attacked Scorpio feel more like it's constructive criticism that that they're trying to guide you or perhaps they're trying to try to help you know narrow that gap between you and your child um now for those of you guys that are single the queen of swords could represent an air energy that you're dealing with aquarius gemini libra with the ten of cups i do feel that there is um there is a situation that perhaps for some of you guys it, it's been a little bit unstable or you've been going through um a lot of healing for some of you guys we do have the six of cups and this does connect with the past so it could be dealing with people or emotions from your past or people from your past coming back around now with the ten of cups it is a positive card but this can also represent with the six of cups this could represent understanding or acknowledging that no outside outsource energy can fulfill you or make you feel emotionally fulfilled that starts from within so it's important to understand that as an example if you're for those of you guys that are single if you're looking for someone to make you feel whole or to make you feel complete what spirit is telling you here is that you need to find that happiness within yourself if not you're going to continuously keep going through relationships where you're trying to fill that void and you know the moment that it doesn't work out or the moment that they feel like uh, you're too needy or too clingy um, and they start backing away from that connection, you're going to feel lost again. So what they're telling you here is find the happiness within yourself, Scorpio. Um, find the happiness within you. Find what you're looking for in others. Look for it in yourself so that you can be able to heal and feel and fill that void with self-love i think that self-love is something very important uh in this reading and, and that's almost the feeling that i'm sensing of you know spirit saying that yes we all need that emotional connection and, and the desire to experience life and to share our good and our bad with someone um but at the same time what they're saying here is find the happiness within yourself first scorpio and that means healing from past traumatic events or from past uh, wounds that are still, you know, still not completely healed. Now, let's see what your 
uh, spirit's energy is you have the storm card so again i think that this has more to do with energies from like energies that you've been carrying for quite a while the storm energy if you look at it it's it, it's purple and this is indicating to me consciousness this is it's higher spirit and it's what they're saying here is that there is healing that needs to happen with you but at the same time it's understanding or taking some type of acknowledgement of you know have you have you healed from past experiences or are you still fixated in dealing with people or emotions that they put you through in the past and if that's something that you're still dragging on towards your next relationships or relationships that are evolving then you haven't completely healed and you're carrying that energy uh it's kind of like you know carrying um or basically charging people for doings that were done by other people in your past um and i think that this speaks very directly to the ten of cups which is spirit saying ultimately your happiness is within yourself once you're able to find that then the universe will echo back exactly or you will attract exactly what you're putting out into the universe so it's about releasing um attachments from things or experiences from the past even people from the past that perhaps you feel like you have moved on from but there's still some type of resentment or hurt that you're still carrying scorpio all right my lovelies i hope that this gives you some type of insight or clarity we will see each other soon i wish you guys the best and stay safe bye